Now another important feature of Ansible is its ability to separate code from data. Now what I mean by that, let's have a look, right? Uh, let's take an example of an application which is, uh, let's say, a generic application like Apache. Apache now has, um, you know, it's an open source application. It has millions of installations and, uh, you know, hundreds of thousands of organizations possibly using it. However, your installation of Apache might be different than mine and that is generally determined by the kind of properties and the way I have configured my application. For example, uh, you may have created a specific, uh, you know, uh, user to run that Apache, run, maybe running on a particular port. Um, I might have a different configuration and even in, um, you know, if you are part of one organization, you may have multiple environments created with different configuration profiles, right? So the same application can be configured in different ways using different configuration profiles, right? Now, Ansible allows you to actually do this profiling using code and data separation. So what happens with Ansible is you can actually separate the code from the actual configurations. And once you do that, and that happens through actually the task and templates where your code is, the templates is the main aspect of it. And then you define your properties per environment per, you know, or you can do, do it in multiple different ways. And uh, you can provide that at the runtime that gets injected at the runtime, your code remains separate and the code is generally in the form of the roles. Now the advantage with this is as soon as you take the data out that is your specific properties, then it's as generic as the application itself is, let's say Apache is, right? And then you can share it with others and uh, you can create a role, share it with others and that's where Ansible Galaxy comes in, right? Ansible Galaxy is a library of user contributed roles. Roles is how we write the Ansible code, right? And the best part about this is a lot of times you don't even have to write a role from scratch. You can just go to Ansible Galaxy, uh, pull a role, provide your properties and boom, you're done with your configurations, right? A lot of times it works that way as well, or maybe with a little bit of customization specific to your environment, right? And that is the advantage uh, with separating that code and data in the form of roles and in the form of vars and templates and vars, right? So that's where uh, it, it's important. And this allows you to create different configurations using the same role and same library. So you treat the code as a library of modules or library of roles, and then you can apply that in any, diff any environment that you have in your organization. It simplifies managing these configurations at scale across the environments. If you like this content, do like, share and subscribe. You may also find links to our free courses in the description below along with some special offers for our premium courses. You can also visit us at schoolofdevops.com.